Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Motivation Zone at Freedom, where we explore deeper insights into life and love. I'm Guyan, and in today's episode, we're diving into a question that has puzzled hearts and minds for centuries, what is true love? Understanding this can not only transform our relationships but also lead us to a more fulfilling life. So, whether you're in love, searching for it, or simply curious about its deeper meaning, this video is for you. Have you ever felt so strongly for someone that you thought it must be love, only to realize later that it was something else? Have you ever mistaken intense attachment for true love? It's a common experience, and today, we're going to uncover why that happens and what true love really looks like. So, if you've ever wondered if what you're feeling is true love or something else, stay tuned as we explore these heartfelt questions together. Let's start by understanding what true love really is. At its core, true love is a selfless, unconditional commitment. It's about putting the happiness and well-being of someone else above your own needs and desires, without expecting anything in return. Imagine loving someone purely for who they are, not for what they can give you or how they make you feel. This kind of love isn't just rare, it's transformative. Now, think about the key characteristics of true love, compassion, patience, kindness, and generosity. These aren't just pleasant traits, they are powerful actions. Compassion allows us to feel with others, sharing their pain and joys as if they were our own. Patience shows us that true affection takes time to grow and flourish, teaching us to give others the space they need to evolve. Kindness is the gentle touch that heals wounds and builds bonds, while generosity is the open hand that gives without counting the cost. To help visualize this, consider the love a mother has for her only child. This love is profound, filled with an intense protective instinct and a relentless desire for the child's happiness and success. She rejoices in their achievements and comforts them in their sorrows, expecting nothing back but their well-being. This is the essence of true love, deep, pure, and absolutely selfless. As we explore this topic, remember, true love is not just found in fairy tales or romantic movies. It's real, it's powerful, and it's attainable for each of us. By embracing these qualities, we can bring true love into our lives and into the lives of those around us, creating a ripple effect of positivity and connection. Dear friends, now that we have explored the beautiful landscape of true love, let's contrast it with something we often confuse it with, attachment. Did you know that unlike true love, which is selfless and liberating, attachment is a self-centered emotion? It's about what we can get out of a relationship rather than what we can contribute. This need for personal gratification can lead us into cycles of dependency and ultimately, suffering. Let's delve deeper into this comparison. True love is like the sun, radiating warmth and light to everyone, asking nothing in return. In contrast, attachment is like a shadow, it clings and follows every step, rooted in the fear of losing what it has. While true love frees us and those we love to be our best selves, attachment binds and restricts, often stifling growth in both parties. To bring this to life, consider the story of Anna and Mark. Anna's love for Mark was full of compassion and support, always encouraging him to pursue his dreams, even when it meant spending time apart. She knew that love meant letting him grow. On the other hand, Mark felt a strong attachment to Anna. He often felt threatened when she spent time with friends or pursued her own interests, fearing that he might lose her. His attachment demanded her constant attention and reassurance, which eventually wore down their relationship. Friends, this story illustrates a powerful lesson, while true love nourishes and builds, attachment grasps and confines. As we reflect on our own relationships, let us strive to cultivate the openness and generosity of true love, freeing ourselves and others from the chains of attachment. Friends, having explored what true love is and how it differs from attachment, let's now consider the profound impact true love can have on our lives and the world around us. Firstly, on relationships, true love acts as a powerful foundation, enriching relationships and making them more fulfilling and resilient. It fosters a climate where trust and respect flourish, where partners feel valued and secure. 
This kind of love doesn't just survive challenges, it thrives through them, growing stronger with each obstacle overcome. Imagine a relationship where each person is committed to the genuine happiness of the other, this is the beauty of true love. Moving to personal well-being, practicing true love can dramatically transform our own lives. It leads to personal growth, inner peace, and happiness. When we love truly, we let go of selfish desires and fears, which often hold us back from our true potential. This liberating form of love allows us to live more fully, embrace vulnerabilities, and find joy in the well-being of others. It's like shedding a heavy coat we've worn for too long, revealing the lightness of being that comes from genuine selflessness. Lastly, on the societal impact, true love has the power to transform not just individual lives but entire communities. When we extend true love beyond our personal relationships to our interactions in society, we contribute to a more compassionate, understanding world. This love encourages us to support and uplift each other, to look beyond our differences and work towards common goals. It's the kind of love that can heal divisions and build bridges, creating a community where everyone feels connected and valued. Dear friends, the ripple effects of true love are limitless. By choosing to love truly, we not only enrich our own lives but also inspire those around us to do the same, paving the way for a kinder, more peaceful world. Dear friends, having understood the transformative power of true love, you might wonder, how can we cultivate this profound love in our own lives? Let me share some practical steps and spiritual insights that can guide us on this path. Firstly, one of the most effective practices to cultivate true love is mindfulness. By being fully present in the moment, we open our hearts to truly see and understand the needs and feelings of others. Start by listening actively and attentively to your loved ones, without judgment or distraction. This simple act of presence can deepen your connections and foster genuine affection. Empathy is another key practice. Try to put yourself in another person's shoes, not only to understand their feelings but also to share in them. This can be as simple as comforting a friend in distress or sharing the joy of someone's success as if it were your own. Unconditional positive regard, where you accept others just as they are, without expectations or conditions, further nurtures true love by creating a safe and nurturing environment for relationships to thrive. From a spiritual perspective, Buddhist philosophy offers profound insights into developing true love. It teaches us about metta or loving kindness, which is the wish for all beings to be happy. Meditation on loving kindness can expand your capacity to love, starting from oneself and gradually extending to others, even those with whom you have difficulties. However, cultivating true love is not without its challenges, especially in a world that often prioritizes self-interest. It can be tough to remain selfless when society often rewards the opposite. To overcome these challenges, remain steadfast in your practice of mindfulness and empathy. Reflect regularly on the benefits of true love, both for yourself and for the world, and remember that every step towards true love is a step towards a more peaceful life. In closing, the journey to true love is ongoing and evolves with each step we take. It requires patience, dedication, and a deep commitment to growth and understanding. By embracing these practices and insights, you are not only enhancing your own life but also contributing to a broader wave of compassion and kindness in the world. Dear friends, today we've journeyed together through the profound and uplifting realm of true love. We began by defining true love as a selfless, unconditional commitment that seeks the happiness and well-being of others without expecting anything in return. We contrasted this pure form of love with attachment, which often stems from selfish desires and leads to suffering. We explored how true love can transform relationships, enhance personal well-being, and positively impact society, creating a ripple effect of compassion and connection. We also discussed practical ways to cultivate true love in our own lives, such as practicing mindfulness, empathy, and embracing the teachings of loving-kindness from Buddhist philosophy. Now, I encourage each of you to reflect on your own relationships. Ask yourself, am I practicing true love? How can I move from attachment towards a more selfless love? 
Your answers to these questions can lead to profound changes in your life and the lives of those around you. Thank you so much for watching. If you've experienced or perceived true love in a unique way, please share your stories in the comments below. Your insights not only enrich our community but also inspire others to open their hearts to true love. And don't forget to tune in next time, where we'll explore, The Art of Letting Go, a perfect complement to today's discussion on true love. Until then, keep loving, keep growing. Before you go, I have a few questions for you. 1. What does true love mean to you? 2. Can you share a moment when you felt you truly loved someone unconditionally? 3. What do you find most challenging about practicing true love in your daily life? Please leave your answers in the comments below. I look forward to reading your thoughts and stories, and I'm excited to discuss them further in our next episode.